Hi everyone, this is Anil. Welcome to video on how to install uh, ACC Agent Client Collector on MS Server VM with a standard user. Let's get started. So as part of this video, we'll perform following steps. First, we'll enable ACC listener on the MET server. Then we'll enable MET web server. Then we'll create a standard user on the VM with the name as now ACC user with this password. Then we'll download agent client collector installer, which is a .msa file on the VM. And then we will open command prompt as admin, run the installer, which we have downloaded in this step. And as part of installation, we have to provide the mid server details, uh, the port and everything. Along with that, we also have to give the user information, uh, the user using which this installer will run or the agent will run. So that is given as this now ACC user. And then once the installation is complete, we'll look at the temp folder, which has the installation details. Uh, once that is done, then uh, and there's also a small observation that the password that is provided here is available in, the, in plain text in this installation file. And after that, we'll go open service no platform. We'll check for agents to see if the agent is up and running. And then uh, we'll go to CMDB CI server table and look for Windows server, uh, which is the uh, with server VM, and we'll check if that is discovered successfully, and the discovery source has to be ACC visibility. So first we'll uh, do the mid server setup. So I'm logged into my uh, VM. Now first I'll add a user here while I'm waiting for them for the instance to come up. Add user. Maybe do it from here. User accounts. So manager user account. Third user account. And call it as now ACC user. And give this password here. Give the same password. I'll give the hint also as same, just in case I forget it. Click on next. And finish it. I look at the type of this account, which is standard. So that completes the setting up of the user. And we'll quickly start the VM. Okay, first we'll validate the mid server and go to mid servers, find the mid server. Okay, first I'll validate the mid server on the mid server and The mid server record has, has opened. Let me quickly validate this. Yeah, click on validate and wait for the validation to complete. The validation is now complete. Now let's complete the remaining steps. Uh, first, we'll set up ACC listener. Once we do that, it gives you an endpoint. So I'll copy that and have it here. We need that as part of the ACC installation. Next, we'll click on Setup ACC Monitoring. So here all the endpoints are ready. Uh, so if you can see here, this has this is IP address of mid server and this is the port. And we also need the mid server uh, key, so we'll get that. So we navigate to API key and we go to mid web server API key. Once we have that, we'll open that. There is a related link called view API key. We click on that. It brings up the key, we copy that, and have it ready. 
So once we have all the steps done, then we can open Mid Server and uh, log into Mid Server VM and then do the next steps. On the VM, uh, we we have to install a browser because we need to download the ACC installer. Or if you have any other way of uploading a file to Mid Server, even that works as well. Right? In this case, I'm going to download the browser and then install the browser and uh, log into ServiceNow, download the ACC installer from there. So once the browser installation is complete, we'll do the next steps. So on the Mid Server VM, I logged into ServiceNow instance and I'm going to open agent client collector and I'll navigate to agent downloads and select Windows download MSI installer. So the download is now complete. Now I'll go to command prompt, run it as administrator. So once we have the command prompt open, we'll navigate to the folder where the file is installed. And open the installation. Uh, on the installer, we click on next. And then, okay, I'm back to the installer again. And I have uh, I'm doing the new installation. I accept the agreement and I leave the default folder as is. Click on next. Here I have to provide the information which we have captured in the past, the previous steps. So let's take that. Uh, we have stored that in the ACC folder. So let me, the ACC file, so let me quickly open that and uh, populate that. Uh, the mid server IP address will be this one here. And web port is going to be 1026. I'll just type it in. The API key which we have copied in the previous steps. So once I provide all this, I click on next. And here we'll select a user and we will give this username. Now, one thing I've learned is we should not use any slash or dot. We just give the username as is. The password is the password. And click on next. So once we do that, it will ask you uh, if you want to enable executing command allow list. But now we'll check that and leave it as is. And click on next, click on install. This takes a bit of time, so I'll pause the recording and wait for this to complete. So once the installation is complete, you get this message. Now we'll look at the, the installation logs. So for that, we have to navigate to temp folder. Go to local, temp, look for ACC logs, and here you'll see ACC and agent underscore installation. So here you can see the installation details. Uh, so you can see that it is performing all the steps, and and then finally, ending installation, install service, ending installation. So essentially, we're looking for any errors, and I couldn't see anything here. So, and it says after uh, service started, all of that, right? After service was created with user, now it is a user. Now we can look at services to see if the agent is running. So we go to services, and we should see a service with name. Uh, agent client collector the service is running and you can also see that it is automatic automatic so that completes until this step where we have i mean seen the installation file and all of that and now let's go to service now and check the agents so i come to service now i'll refresh this list so i can see that agent is up now and it is also collecting the host data now to navigate to this, we go to Agent Client Collector and click on Agents. You can also see that in the dashboard. There is a Agent Health dashboard. So 
So here you can see that the agent is up. Now the next step is to check the discovery of the with VM. So let's go to Windows servers. And so this is the with VM. So to verify that, let's bring discovery source as the column. You can see that it is discovered by ACC visibility. That proves that it is discovered by the client collector. That's the last step in this video. So a quick recap. We have uh, seen how to uh, enable ACC listener on the mid server, enable mid web server, and then we have created a standard user and on admin user on the VM. Then we downloaded the client collector, we installed it on the VM, and then uh, we have seen in service now, we have seen the installation logs, and we also have seen in service now that the agent is running and it is discovering the uh, itself VM. Thank you for watching. This is Anand.